Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this dynamic text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we are in Adobe for After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose let's say 1920. Height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration is 1.30 second. And background color is black color. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Safe Action. Then I'm going to press Ctrl N to create another composition and I'll call it as Text animation and hit ok press ctrl k to open the project settings again and wait over here i'm going to choose 1080 pixels and hit ok then let's make this fit then press ctrl y to create one solid background and we will lock this layer then i'm going to press ctrl n to create another composition and height over here i'm going to choose let's type slash and divide it by 6 which means we will get something like this okay press ctrl k again to open the project settings and let's call it as strip okay and uh, color background color i'm going to choose white color over here so we can see the text or let's say black color is okay because we have already added the white color over here so press ctrl y over here to select one solid background and lock this layer now i'm going to type my text over here and let's type our text i'm going to type motion and for the color i'm going to choose black color go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press ctrl alt home go to the uh, character menu and for the font i'm going to choose oswald font and oswald minimum go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically ctrl alt home press s and increase the size of this text somewhere around like this go to the character menu and let's decrease the alphabetical distance between these two text uh, after that hit spacebar type dash again type motion then go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically press ctrl alt home press s and this time let's decrease the size so our text is going to be inside this composition like this okay and if you want then you can increase the alphabetical distance again so you can adjust it properly like this okay so our text uh, strip is ready now go to the text animation and we will bring our strip over here then uh, we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for one effect called cc repetile effect and simply double click to apply expand down let's type 500 and let's see expand up let's type 500 uh, and let's see okay now select this strip and hit ctrl d select the second one go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and double click to apply and we will lock this layer now select this strip press p for position create one keyframe zoom in a little bit let's go to around two seconds and we will change the position somewhere around like this okay let's go inside this strip and we will hide this white layer for now okay so now as you guys can see we have this kind of animation now let's go to the two second and i'll move this until uh, this text is going to be properly cover this red text over here like this okay now as you guys can see we are getting this halfway through so we need to increase the expand down option over here okay so as you guys can see we are getting this animation now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this and let's delete this reference layer so now if you see this animation this is going to be continuously in the form of loop okay you can go inside the strip and you can delete this white solid background we don't need that anymore now let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 to open the project settings we will bring our text animation comp and we will move this over here and let's make this fit now select this text animation and hit ctrl d go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc sphere effect and simply double click to apply and let's uh, go to the light options uh, or shading options let's say 
increase the ambient value to 40 and decrease the diffuse value to 10 and let's increase the ambient somewhere around like this and decrease the increase the diffuse to 20 so let's make this ambient 90 and diffuse 20 okay then we will go to the rotation options and we will rotate it on somewhere around like this axis so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of animation now i want this thing should be rotated on y axis also so i'll create one keyframe at y rotation and hit u and uh, as you guys can see my animation is uh, uh, in the form of loop at two seconds so let's two plus two four two plus two six and then again eight so i'm gonna go somewhere around eight second so what will happen after eight second also this is going to be in the form of loop so i'll go somewhere around eight second maybe and i'll change this complete rotation to one so what will happen along with this animation we will get this rotation animation also okay now i'm going to select this text animation uh, over here i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for mesh warp effect and simply double click to apply now rows i'm going to choose one and column i'm going to choose two so i'll get this kind of stuff uh, let's choose rows also two so we'll get this line we will hide this ellipse just for now now select this and uh, select this mesh warp and we will click in the middle over here and so we can see we are getting this four handles all we need to do first of all select this and move this uh, properly at the center uh, so select this mesh warp effect select this point select this and move this properly at the center like this zoom in a little bit and make sure this is going to be in the proper line like this okay if I select this and see this again make sure to adjust it properly same thing I'll follow for this uh, one also let's select this select this line and move this properly towards this center then I'm going to pick up this line let's move this properly towards the center then select this line and move this properly towards the center okay now after that select this line select this one and move this properly towards the center okay so if you see we are getting this kind of stuff Similarly, select this line and move this towards the center. So, if I see this now, I'm gonna get this kind of animation. Select this, go to the quality and increase the quality to 10. And let's then enable this circle over here, like this. Okay. now let's select this press ctrl shift c and uh, move all attributes into the new composition and hit ok double click to open this comp press ctrl k over here and width i'm going to choose 1080 again okay so we will get this kind of stuff now select this and now again i'm going to choose mesh warp again i'm going to follow the same procedure i'm going to make it 2 comma 2 select this one uh, this middle one and you can move it like this you can move it like this then select this one you can move it like this and you can move it like this so now if you see this animation we are gonna get something like this okay so now select this uh, no, cc spare uh, layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply and increase the top shadow totally up to 400 okay distance should be zero and you can increase the opacity so you will get this kind of uh, opacity over here so we will get this kind of effect you can go inside this text animation and over here you can select this layers you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect and apply to this white layer uh, like this uh, and uh, if you see the result in main animation we will get something like this okay let's make this fit 
I'm going to choose radial ramp. Let's bring down this layer to the middle one. And if you see this stuff over here, we are getting this kind of stuff like this. Okay. And you can remove the drop shadow effect also if you want, but I'm going to stick with this because we need certain depth. So let's go over here and try to bring this properly at the center and instead of complete black i'm going to choose a little bit of grayish color we don't want complete black color over there and i'm going to select this text animation which is this layer over here right click go to the reveal reveal layer source project select this text animation hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'm going to replace this layer double click to open this select this white solid and we will delete this gradient ramp we don't want that ramp for this layer okay and you can go say, go to the cc sphere effect uh, and let's go to the shading if you increase this diffuse to 40 and ambient to a little bit let's say 70 and diffuse 40 so you will get this proper sphere okay then you can press ctrl y on your keyboard and create one wide solid background so we will get this kind of effect like this then you can right click new and create one null object you can select all of this and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation you can rotate it like this and you can increase a scale up to this so you will get this kind of effect okay like this and all of this guy animation is going to be in the form of loop okay then uh, you can uh, do another thing over here which we i uh, also do for my most of the animations i'm gonna right click new and create one adjustment layer and i'm going to apply one tint effect on it and double click to apply and i can swap this color over here uh, and or instead of that uh, you can choose different color for this like this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write uh, i'm gonna create one ellipse uh, by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the start select this adjustment layer and make it apparent with this one select this press s initially let's make it the scale zero okay then i'm gonna go somewhere around four second and i'm going to increase the size of this layer somewhere around like this okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay and instead of red i'm going to choose black color only and i'm going to just swap this color so i'll get different results over here i'm gonna want this should cover the entire composition i'm going to select this adjustment layer hit ctrl d and let's move this over here okay so i'm gonna get this kind of animation like this so this is how you can create this kind of dynamic text reveal animation inside of after effects